Let us now enter into a time of awareness within ourselves and connection beyond boundaries, connection to one another and to that interdependent web of life of which we are but one small thread. As we breathe in, we are connected. As we breathe out, we are connected. Here in this place and this time, we are reflecting on the passage of time, the turning of the wheel, that which has led us to both winter days and winter nights. This is a season for contemplation, a season for remembering. As you breathe in and as you breathe out, I invite you to think about those who have loved you into being, those who support you, those who encourage you, those who may be with you still or may no longer be. Think about the people who have helped you in some small way this morning or perhaps last night, maybe this week or over the course of last week, a kind word or a text message, an email or a word over Zoom, maybe in a holiday card or a word shared over the breakfast table or right before bed. Now think about one person who was kind or generous, someone who showed some kind of love toward you, just one of the many. Hold that person in your thoughts as we breathe together, one light among many, one gift in this season of giving. Know that they are but one of the many, many people who make up who you are. In small ways and in big ways, they are a part of us. I share these words adapted from Gwen Matthews. In the dark swoops of evergreen garland with small white lights, decorate an outdoor fence. As we travel through the month of December, we welcome in the gift of reflection. We hold the holiday celebrations, those that have already come, and search for common threads of meaning among those still upon us. We've just passed Hanukkah, the festival of lights, which commemorated times of miracle when the faith of the Jewish people sustained them to reclaim their holy temple and keep the light of the menorah burning for eight days. Today we hold up Yule, the winter solstice, and we are invited to explore dualities, cycles, and seasons and to witness the holly king being overcome by the oak king, the battle between the two of them and the balance. Yule reminds us that we all partake in the miracle 
of renewal. And just ahead is Christmas, the celebration of Jesus's humble birth in the manger, offers us a revisit to the miracle of birth and the desire to find saviors and to heal the scars of humanity. Here, in this fellowship, you are just as much a holiday miracle as the turning of the earth, as persistence and dedication to a faith, as the creation of each new life. We see the love you give to others, the space you create to hold one another's joys and sorrows, and the generosity and spirit you entrust to this community. You are the holiday miracle. This community is one of miracle makers. As we breathe in, we are connected. As we breathe out, we are connected. May our minds create a vision of the world radical enough to be called holy. May our actions contain the promise of hope and the commitment to justice. May our hearts remember that love is a power that resists all forms of fear. By our thoughts, by our actions, by our hearts, and by our very breath, may it be so.